what's it gonna be? Jason Chapman is out. Jason Chapman gets a huge award. Pair racing vlogs. How we doing, everybody? My name is Short Haired Tom, and today I'm out in uh, right now the Quarry Campground, and there's a very special reason for that, and that's because today, even though this track has its own dedicated campground, you're not allowed to tent in it. So I had to come out here, 13 minutes away from the track, set up camp here. I could show you. Set up Bear Camp 06. I'm all set up right now, so the only thing to do is uh, actually head to this racetrack. You've all read the title. Today we're going to probably the most famous paved short track. Uh, we're going to Stafford Springs, baby. Now I know we already covered this track before on the channel with the SRX race, but if you've been subscribed before, you know I also like to do this weekly race showcase where I just pick a random Friday, Saturday night, sun Sunday sometimes, whenever their normal scheduled uh, uh, racing program is, and uh, just go check it out see what it's like actually today they're doing uh open modifieds too so but uh i'll get all into that when we get to the track um it's 5 30 right now i gotta head over there and on track starts in about a half hour so i gotta quickly find my seat and eat uh i'll see you guys over there all right all right i'm blown away because this place is already crowded like wow man So, Stafford Springs Speedway, originally opened in 1870 as, what else, a horse racing track, like so many local short tracks around the country do. It wasn't until after World War II when race cars took the track here, and this took place all the way up on the dirt until 1867. I was actually kind of surprised at how long this famous paved half mile, how much of its history was dirt. This is my whole life, so I've just known this as the place to run modified, asphalt modifieds. In July 1969, the owners of this place, the original owners, sold it to uh, Jack Root. And he basically redid this whole place into new lights, new grandstands, and even is the one who coined SK Modifies. If you're a dirt guy like me, uh, just think of SK Modifieds as uh, the sportsman division, where most of it's pretty spec. And, and there's famous, like very famous drivers that raced here. The Bodines, Jimmy Spencer. Uh, this, this place has just such a massive history. And I'd like to point out that even though the website is Stafford Motor Speedway, this place is called Stafford Speedway. A lot of kids in the life. position is so important because all these cars are so close together. It's so hard So many big names that raced here. I mean, look at this. I know Reggie, Greg Sachs, Fuller, Christopher, Spencer, of course, LaJoy, Stefanica, Mike McLaughlin, his son's Max, who races in uh, Big Block Modifieds, Bodines, Jerry Cook. Side to Troyer, who started Troyer Cars. All right, I gotta get back. All 
All right, so I'm just gonna run to the bathroom real quick. Uh, I guess because the open modifieds are here this week, they're not running heat races for anything other than the open modified, so uh, we're jumping right into feature racing, I guess. Um, I also noticed I'm wearing a dirt track oval shirt and a New York Rangers hat at a paved half mile in New England. Can't be the most uh, popular guy here right now.
start, and he's doing it again. No fluke here. And who's he? You know, I totally would have been willing to give this track another $35 or whatever to see if they they can't find a spot for me to squeeze my little old tent somewhere in that very crowded camping field. But no, you know what? It's all right. It's all right. It's whatever. Don't allow tents.
Take two, let's see how it goes. They come off the turn. Much better start this time.
It's on you guys. Well, the first car that hits me is the Anthony Bello team. They begin to wheel the tires out. The jack start to go up. Looks like they're going to be some white paint right here. Also, they're going to switch the back. They're going to go both rear tires on the 179. Also down here on right by the Christopher team. They're working on the right side of that car. John, who have you got down by you? I got the two leaders right here. Pitcat's already got his left rear on. Also working down the left rear. Right, that's Stafford Speedway. Uh, it got real cold real quickly, man. This has got to be the coldest summer I think I've ever experienced in my life. Middle of August and God forbid I wear shorts. Great track. <laughs> I mean, everything about this track is just, you could tell the owners love it, the fans love it, everyone appreciates the history this track has to offer. The only, only thing I would say is just, it's got to be the most expensive weekly racing ticket I think I've ever purchased in my life. Bethel, Accor, those two were $15. Uh, five mile point was $20. General admission here, $30. And on top of that, you're not allowed to bring in any food or anything. And that hamburger, the, well, the cheeseburger that you guys saw me eat, that was a $9 cheeseburger. It's just a little bit on the pricey side. So, I mean, if, if you guys, you know, don't care too much about that, absolutely come visit this place it's it's such a nice gem all right that's all i got for you guys today uh i'm gonna head back to camp um get snuggled up in my uh winter uh sleeping bag and uh throw 15 blankets on top of me i'm going to film another video tomorrow at a different racetrack but you guys won't be seeing that video until next week the week after this one comes out but in the meantime i hope you guys you know enjoyed this video if You've never been to Stafford before. I hope this was a great little video on what it's like going to this place. Uh, if you're watching this 10, 15, 20 years in the future and you used to go to, the, go to this track, uh, I hope it brought back some, some great memories. And um, subscribe for more, guys. Hit that like button. Uh, it tells YouTube that these are good videos and, it, you know, the whole algorithm thing. It'll show people this, show more people these videos and channel can grow short track racing can grow i've said it all before really though thank you guys so much for making it this far in the video i'll be back next week like i said and uh as always support your local all right